Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make sparks play music. So normally you can hear a spark because when a spark happens it generates a plasma and a plasma is extremely hot and so it heats up the air around it and when it heats up the air around it it makes that air expand and that rapid expansion of air can be heard by our eardrum because it vibrates our eardrum. So let's try that right here. Here's my mini Van de Graaff generator. See if you can hear the spark. So that spark that you hear is just one pressure wave hitting your eardrum. But what if you generated a bunch of those sparks in a regular pattern? Well, then you'd hear a tone. But the problem is with a Van de Graaff machine, the sparks are pretty sporadic. In general, sparks that happen from static electricity are pretty sporadic. You don't exactly know when they're gonna happen. But if we had a different machine that could generate sparks at a regular pattern, then we could use that pattern to generate sparks that could actually be used to create pressure waves that could carry music through the air. And that other machine that I speak of is a Tesla coil. So a Tesla coil's sparks aren't generated with a direct current like a Van de Graaff machine. They're generated from a very fast alternating current, usually between 20 to 100 kilohertz. So this alternating current can create very high voltages at the tip of the Tesla coil. And what happens is it generates a very steady stream of plasma where you can kind of hear a buzz of all these sparks going off and it sounds just like this. So now, even though the sparks coming off the top here are still pretty random, they're happening at such a high frequency that it's just this steady buzz that you hear now. And so there's just this steady stream of random pressure waves going through the air right now. So now that we have this steady buzz of sparks going off, what if we could interrupt the sparks at a regular interval instead of creating the sparks at a regular interval? For example, I can make sound just by interrupting the signal. So when I put my hand close to the Tesla coil, the, it steals some of the energy so it doesn't generate as much plasma on top. So basically I can interrupt the plasma on top just by putting my hand near it. So my hand acts like an interrupter. And you can see that you can hear it now. Now that's a really low frequency, but what if we could get it to a higher frequency? So what I'm going to do now is send a signal to something called an interrupter in the Tesla coil. And the interrupter is basically just going to stop this stream of sparks at a specific interval. So if I could interrupt this steady stream of sparks at a thousand times per second, here's what it sounds like. <laughs> So not very pleasant, but this is now being interrupted at a thousand times per second and we can easily hear it now. So what we're really hearing is the turning off and on of those sparks at a thousand times per second. So even though the sparks themselves when they're on aren't loud, if you turn them off and on frequently, then that is loud because that generates a regular pattern of expanding gas and that's very loud to our ears to hear. So now instead of hearing something as unpleasant as a thousand hertz tone, why don't we just plug in a signal that isn't just a thousand hertz but has varying frequency throughout it, something that we also call music. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so this sound is actually coming from the sparks. There's not a speaker in here or anything. And notice how the bigger the sparks are, the better you hear the sound. Now what's even cooler than this is, what I can do now is now that I have this electrical signal coming through here and generating this spark, I can even make the music go away by absorbing the energy into my hand so that there's no spark. So basically, all of the energy is now not going into forming a spark, but it's going into generating a small current inside my body. 
<laughs> I can also do the same and light up this light bulb so the energy doesn't go into the spark but lights up the light bulb. So really now this light bulb has a signal going through it that has the same beat as this music. So if we could see the flickering of this light bulb, it would match the frequency peaks of this song going on right now. Now in order to do that, I have a device here that lets you actually hear light. So what it has on here is it just has a solar panel. And the solar panel is connected to a speaker so that when you get a, a spike in light, it generates a little pulse on the speaker. And if you get a regular pattern of light going on, then you can generate a tone. For example, if I just have a blinking light like this, you can see you can hear it. If I turn up the speed, So you can see that in this same way, just by pulsing the light, I can get a signal. So now when I hold this light next to the Tesla coil and then listen to this speaker, we should also be able to hear the music. Let's see if it works. Okay, we have our music playing now. So now this isn't on right now. Notice that the sound goes away when the light's on. But this light is pulsating at the same frequencies as this song. So now if we can pick out the pulsing of the light, now you can hear it from this speaker. <laughs> what an odd combination of changing signals. Now the sound's coming from here. Now the sound goes away. Now it's just turned into light, and now if I pick up the signal from the light and turn it back into sound. <laughs> this is so cool. And that's how you turn sparks into music, or turn sparks into light, and then turn that light back into electrical signals, which turns it back into sound. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to subscribe, and remember to hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video is out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.